Hello! Hello, hello, hello! Oh, hang on. I've lost myself. Why can't I find, why can't I find myself on this screen? There I am! There we go. Hello! Anna, you were the first to appear on my screen. How are you? Oh, exciting, exciting, exciting times! Hello, hello, hello! Oh, look, they're coming in now. Hello, everybody. Hello, hello. Shelley, yes, it's good morning for you, isn't it? Hello, people. It's, <laughs> I had my, my hair done this morning and it's absolutely chucking it down. And look what's happened. Jay, don't look. Jay will get so disheartened if she sees this. It's, um... Humidity. <laughs> oh, somebody's put hello, mother. I'm not sure who that is. Do you think that might be Emmy? That could be Emmy. <gasps> Marilyn, I miss you. I hope everybody's okay. I hope everybody's okay. Kathy, I'm not quite recovered, but I'm a lot better, Kathy. Oh my God, it floored me. Do you remember the first time I had COVID? It was like that. So, <gasps> Mr. Holtz, how the hell are you? Hello, gorgeous. Hello, gorgeous, and Mario as well, you darlings. I haven't, you know, I haven't spoken to them for a couple of weeks. I've been ill, I've been ill, boys, but don't worry, I've just been picking up some little bits of chocolate for you, Marks and Spencers, this morning. So there we go. Hello, everybody. Colleen, I've just seen your lovely page. Yes. Hello, 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 hello. Somebody likes my dress. Do you know, it's toadstools. Look at that. But. A little... Judy, oh my gosh, are you taking... Oh, I've still got the tag on. <laughs> I've still got the tag inside my dress. Uh, Judy, are you taking a break from your world travels? Right, a little bit of PSA for you here. Do not wear a long dress when you're sitting on a rolly chair. Because I tell you, I've nearly garroted myself. I can't tell you how many times... I've spun my chair in and I've gone. <laughs> so it's now, I look ladylike up here and down here it's tucked. I've got it tucked in one side of my leggings. Hilarious. Hilarious. So, yes, COVID for the fourth time. The first time it kicked my butt. The middle two times, it was okay. This one, boof, kicked my butt again. Really bad. So, yes, Marks and Spencers. I always try and find little... We don't have chocolate that... I can always find chocolate for Mario because he just likes plain dark. But trying to find... For Tim, I just try to find unusual stuff, really. So, yeah. Oh, Jodie's going back round the world again on Thursday night. Wonderful. I'm hoping to tr bump into you somewhere. So, is everybody okay? I'm so excited. Can you tell? Can you tell? Even though... Oh, this necklace. Do you know I've had this ages... I just thought I'd pop it on with the toadstools. So it's um, it's probably from Theodore. Hello, my darling. How are you? I need to speak to you tomorrow, Theodore, if possible. Just a quick one. Um, I think it's from Attitude Clothing. I'm not sure. I think it's Attitude Clothing. So I'm not sure. But anyway, how amazing. So shall we get straight on with it? Because this... It's probably going to be a long one. So you need to um, strap yourself in. Have you got... Elizabeth, hello. <laughs> Denise. Denise is like, I've never been more curious about a release. This is because we haven't actually sent it out to the designers to play with. Because I was going to do like a little education thing for them. But then I've been so ill, I haven't been able to do anything. So the designers are blank. They don't know. I did a little education thing for Ranger, but apart from that, nobody really knows. So it's ever so exciting. So it's going to be like a three part um, launch. I'm going to tell you about all the products. 
So I'm going to do each product one by one. Then I'm going to go through the samples. So I shall go. There isn't tons because I've been ill, but I'll go through a lot of the samples. And then I'm going to do some demos. I don't often demo on the launch, do I? But it needs demoing. And there will be loads more videos coming. So don't worry. Now, years and years and years and years and years ago, in fact, when I very first met Alan from Ranger, who I thought was in sales, and Tim, I met them at a, um, a show and um, I was doing this then, okay? So we're talking 18 years ago, 18, 19 years ago or something. So I was doing this and I was doing a lot of this and I had, I'm just going to tie this back. Yes, it was 84 years ago. And uh, anyway, so I was doing this. Um, I had my own, we had a little company then called Blonde Moments and we had some scrapbook papers and we had paint, scrapaganza, Ben's in the house, brilliant, hi Ben, scrapaganza, um, it was, we do have history Tim, <laughs> Tim's like we have history, we do, can you believe it though, can you believe that all of a sudden we're going, we used to go, oh you know when we met a year ago, oh you know when we met five years ago, it's 18 or 19 years, I can't remember which, I mean, that's just ridiculous, isn't it? You know, um, considering I'm only 32 and Tim's 24, I think that's just incredible. But uh, anyway, so I was doing this then in my own little way. And then we brought out our own product. And I used to love it. I used to love doing it. And of course, then I joined Ranger and things change and do and look at the people. I know Mario. Well, Mario, Mario, you must be 35. If I'm 34, you must be 35. So, uh, and Ted, of course, Ted's about 29. I think he might be 30 next year. I'm not sure. Um, but um, I used to do it and I used to have colours to match my papers. It's something I did a long time ago. And I've never seen anybody... Oh, 20 years. I'm so sorry. I'm seeing this comment. It was 20 years ago. We met in 2003. 20 years ago then. Wow. Uh, so I was four. Um, I haven't aged a bit. I've aged today. I've had one of those days today. Anyway, I digress. So then when I joined Ranger, of course, you have to taper back all your products. All your products have to taper back. And... Um, I just was like so nostalgic and I thought I want this back so we've I've been sort of planning it for the last couple of years and this year it's finally like woof, sort of come in do you know what I mean I've written I'm so excited it is not a new product let me tell you that the way I do it is and the way my product is made is okay but products like this have been on the market before that I'm, you know, make no bones about it. This is not a great invention. It's not a new product. It's just something that I have always loved to do. Okay, and um, I decided to bring it back. So we are going to correct. Creativity comes in full circle. Well, yeah, definitely, Tim. You know, things do sort of go round, and I miss doing this, and I'm really, really enjoying it. You can use it with with your journals but i don't often some of it you can use inside the rest you can use on covers you can use it in card making you can use it in all sorts of different things like that and it's just really really good fun okay so the launch is today and we're launching so many of the products so we're launching the basics we're launching so many colors and then next year <laughs> pen's put tea bag papers do you remember tea bag folding <laughs> Oh my God, Ben, I'm surprised at that. Yes, I'm bringing out peel-offs, gold peel-offs and tea bag folding and then pricking stencils, probably pricking stencils. So anyway, without further ado, I am going to flip the camera around, probably lose you all and then I'm going to go through the products. Okay, so here we go. Um, this way, isn't it? It has to go this way. Hang on, is that right? Am I the right way up? I get this wrong. Oh no, I'm upside down. Right, one minute. <laughs> I'll never change. I'll never change. I'm the right way. Oh, don't look over there. I'm the right way up. But now we're miles away. Hang on a minute. Let me just scoot it down. Oh, I tell you. 
It's hilarious, isn't it, watching me try to do anything. Everybody tries to help me. Everybody gives me all these handy hints, but nothing really seems to work. Oh, phew. Right, we're there. We're there. Okay, so I am going to bring out the <laughs> sieve. I love your technical expertise. You see, look, it's actually wonky, but I, I don't, I dare move it. Has it, has it got wonky the wrong way there? Or has it gone back? Oh, 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 yeah, there we go. I didn't disconnect you. There's time. There is time. Do not panic. I'm covered in ink. Look. Right, so first of all, OK, this is called the Diamond Programme because diamonds are forever. Marvellous. And it's actually called the Diamond Programme with a Y, like Di Diane, like Dilutions, like uh, Dialogue, like The Diary. OK, so this is the Diamond. So the whole range is the Diamond Programme. OK, and the first product is like a really, really thick, like the old, like the old ultra thick embossing powder. So can you see? So I've called these rocks. These are the diamond rocks. Yeah. Can you see? They're like granulated sugar. It's not a new product. Not a new product, but it's um, the diamond rocks. So it's not an embossing powder. It's a really, really thick embossing powder. We went retro can we say that Dilutions has gone retro so we've done the um, lids? Yes, like the old UT, UT. That's what it is. So this is basically the same. This is a clear. This is a three ounce pot of the clear. OK, but I'm just calling it Diamond Rocks. All right. So we've got a clear like so. And then we have colours. OK, so we have colours of the ultra thick. But they're not called Ooty, it's called Diamond Rocks, remember? So the difference between this and Ultra Thick is the way that it's made. So my powders, in my rocks in the UK were made different to... Do you remember Suze Weinberg always did Ultra Thick and she always did it in a melting pot? I don't do it like that, but she used to use it in the melting pot and everything like that. But hers are made different. Hers, are, The powders then and the powders that they do at Ranger now are coated. Now, mine are tumbled, OK, which means if I just put that back in, can you see the bit of flume that's on there as well? So mine are tumbled. I wanted them made exactly the same way that they were made in the UK, OK, and at first they weren't sure if they could do it, but they have. They've managed to do it. So I have brought out, for this range, we've got six different colours. The reason I wanted it like that means that when you do it, you don't get a totally solid colour. You get, because they're tumbled, you get variated colour. You get a variation in the colour. OK, so we have six colours. So we have a three-ounce jar of the la of the clear rocks and then we have two ounce jar of the um colors so we have bubblegum pink now i have called these names to match my paints and to match my inks but they are not the same colors because what this is it's this it's the clear rocks tumbled in a big tumbly tumbly machine i'm so good at this technical stuff ah huh? big tumbly tumbly machine with um mica powders okay with mica powders so um you can never get exact mica powders so we have bubblegum pink which does actually look like bubblegum pink doesn't it then we have pink flamingo which on this is a little bit more coral okay so we've called that pink flamingo we have, why am I missing one? Oh, I'm missing one. <laughs> no, I'm not. Sorry, I'm going mad. We have Postbox Red, which actually comes out really, really coppery. But it's gorgeous. Can you see? So we have Postbox Red. I can't tell you how excited. I cannot tell you how excited I am. And this has been on tracker all year. And then we hit a little bit of a snag. And I was like, no, it's coming. It's coming no matter what. So here we are. 
laid back lilac. How gorgeous is that? It's like the consistency of sugar, but can you see the flume? Can you see in there? That's because they're not coated. So you do get that variation through. So laid back lilac. And then we have Island Parrot. Absolutely gorgeous. So we have Island Parrot. No, I don't use a melting pot. You can use them in a melting pot. I don't use a melting pot. I've never used a melting pot. So don't panic. If you've got one, use it. But I don't use one. And the last one is London Blue. Okay. So there we have London Blue. So we've got three warms, we've got two cools and we've got a sin bin. We've got a purple in there, OK? Um, there are more col there will be more colours coming next year, all right? We're going to launch six, then we'll probably do a three and a three, something um, like that. So these are the rocks, OK? When you get rocks and crush them, what do you get? You get dust. You get dust. So we have the dust. OK, let me just get these here. So these are like, well, they're like perfect pearls. OK, everybody understands perfect pearls. So let me show you. So we have the bubblegum pink, which is actually this one. If you know perfect pearls, the colours never really look the same. So we have the bubblegum pink to match the bubblegum pink. We have pink flamingo which is this one, to match that one. We have Postbox Red, which, as you can see, is really coppery. Really, really coppery. You can, you, it, you, it's really hard to get a red. So these are not exact colours. We have Laid Back Lilac. Absolutely gorgeous. And this is the dust. If, you, if you're not sure, you see the flume that's coming off there? That's what this is, look. It's the dust. So we have the diamond rocks and this is the dust. OK, so beautiful pearlescent powders. So here this one is the island parrot. OK, just like perfect pearls. If you've got perfect pearls, they work exactly the same. They're just, the you know, they're practically the same. And then we have London blue. Look how gorgeous that is there. So we've got some warms some cools and a sin bin and i mix them so for example i will will put maybe some of this island parrot on top of this bubblegum pink i just mix them all up and when oh i've put the wrong one there when we come when i come to show you samples and come to show you demos then we'll see it so i always did this in a way that nobody really else did and i've brought so that's what i've brought back i've brought that way back Oh, wrong one. That's not a green, is it? What's that doing there? Oh, it's me. Me playing around. So that's why I'm sort of going to demo and do. It's not hard. You just follow the steps. But it is quite fun to do. So we have one clear rocks. We have six of the coloured rocks. And they all have a matching dust. OK, so diamond rocks, diamond dust. They all have that matching dust. Now, what do you put them on with? OK. You can put them on with a diamond medium pad. So this is the pad. OK, so you can put a diamond, you know, you can put them on um, with that. So I use this when I am inking up stamps or if I'm inking up stamps to add pearls or inking up stamps to em emboss with them. Deboss, sorry. Um, or sometimes I'll use it through a stencil. So there is a pad. Now, I totally overlooked the re so there will be a re coming, OK? Totally overlooked it until I came to, like, really start making samples. And I was like, oh, where's the re -inker? And they said, oh, you didn't ask for it. And I was like, oh, no. So there will be a re coming to re your pad. So there is a pad, OK? But when I'm going to use it with the rocks, I want some solid medium on there. So there is a, a dabber diamond medium in a dabber okay it's exactly the same medium that's in here it's a slow drying ink okay so it just slows so if you um want to have a nice light coat or something intricate you would use the pad if you want something solid 
again you'll see you want the dabber and you just how it sits upside down like this and you just dab it you squeeze it's got a foam top on it and it and as the name suggests you dab you don't scrape you don't circle you don't you know you dab okay so it has the little dabber on and i always store it upside down on its flat lid so that it's always moist there okay so we have the medium in two different ways this is just you know if you want to put a lot when i used to do this years ago we only had a pad and it used to be take a lot longer so now we have the fabulous dabber now what we're going to put this on well the pearls i use a lot in my journal but the rocks they're too thick i feel to go in my journal so we have some surfaces as well okay because it wouldn't be a pro product without surfaces so we have the diamond boards okay so these are the diamond boards in the hexagon diamond boards in the um, rectangles diamond boards in the squares and you've got 20 of each so 20 hexagons 20 squares 20 oblongs now because the oblong rectangles are smaller they're a slightly less price okay so these two are the same price this is slightly smaller and this is what they are like okay they are um a, they're not as thick as like a big picture board but that's sort of what they're like and they've got a special surface on to apply the medium off me to apply the paint etc but you can bend them and you can also cut them to me it was important that you could cut them because if you're wanting to you know match things up like so you can see you can cut them so you know me and my love of quilting everything's making sense now isn't it so these are two inch squares um and these these are the rectangles now what else is two inch square and rectangle oh goodness me diane goodness me was it the stamps that i released the other week were they the same size oh goodness me yes they were look at that Oh, it's all coming together, isn't it? It's all coming together. So you can use these however you want, but I'm going to use them with the rocks. Okay, so three shapes. We have the hexagons, we have the squares, um, and we have the oblongs. Okay, couple more, couple more products to go. And then I can start. Oh, let me have a drink of tea. Are you enjoying? Are you enjoying? Who, who remembers stuff like that? And who's like completely new and doesn't have a clue? Correct. It's almost like I planned it, isn't it? And again, you can tessellate. Do you see what I mean? Look, you know what I mean by tessellate. You can use those and you can make your quilt soap, etc. Do you see? You can use all the shapes, you can mix them around together, you can use separate ones. So, what else do we have in here? Well, we have a little, look at these gorgeous little brushes. A little double pack of brushes, look at these. The pink, to match my brushes, because as you know, I do love a bit of pink, I love a bit of pink. So we have two little brushes. This is... This small one here is the faffer brush and it's for when you're faffing, okay, or fussing as some people would say. So I pick up a little bit of the dust and then I'm a bit fuss, fa I'm faffing around. So this is the faffer brush, okay. And then this is the fluffer. So this is where you fluff it all off. So you faff with this one and you fluff off with this one. So faffer and fluffer gorgeous gorgeous little set and i have one more thing one more thing on here which die hard dilusionists might just pass out from because i don't think you would have ever expected to see this in a dilutions range has anybody got any idea <laughs> it's in here okay it's in here. And when I requested it, 
everybody laughed because they thought that I was joking. And I was like, no, I'm serious. <laughs> I have a stickles. What? <laughs> she has a stickles. It's just, it's dilutions, stickles, okay? Um, the only type of stickles really, at, at Christmas, I've quite often used black, um, red and green and that. But this is, can you see, it's a clear with just tiny little bits in. I know. And I used to use this. I used to use a similar colour to this from Ranger all those years ago. So 20 years ago, I used to use this. So I had to have it. I could not bring out a range that didn't have um, the um, a stickles as well. So there you go. Now, don't hold your breath. I am not bringing out a range. <laughs> there will not be... 72 colours of stickles for Diane, okay? I've had to take enough stick anyway having this. And if people don't understand why I'm saying that, it's because I have just... I've been allergic to stickles for years. I'm just allergic to a lot and lot of glitter and shimmer. But I do like a little bit. I like it subtle, like me. Subtle, remember. So that is the programme for now, okay? Clear rocks. Look, all my customer, all my students are going, what? No! <laughs> Clear rocks, three ounce, okay? And I'll show you what we'll do with all of them. Coloured rocks, two ounce, six colours. Bubblegum pink, pink flamingo, post fox red, laid back lilac, island parrot and London blue. Remember, they, do, they are not an exact match of the inks or paints. They're just the closest I could get to them. Six Dust, Bubblegum Pink, Pink Flamingo, Post Box Red, Laid Back Lilac, Island Parrot, London Blue. Okay, so that's the bulk of it. Surfaces to put them on. We can use them in the journals, but we've also got surfaces that we put them on. Okay, two mediums, a stamp pad for if you're using with the stamps or you want a, a light coat, a dabber. And I don't know what it is about that all you Americans, you seem to call it a dauber. And it's a dabber because you dab, 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 dab. You dab with it. So um, <clears throat> you cover the boards with it. So you will take this and you will cover all the boards up with it, okay? Foam top and you dab. So we've got that. We've got the faffa and the fussy. The faffa and the fluffer, sorry. Faffa and fluffer. Yes, side effect of the latest COVID stickles. I tell you, this COVID's weird, isn't it? So the Faffa and the Fluffer brush, little pack there, and do, 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 stickles. I have no idea if they work with those because this is made specially to work with mine. And I, I have no idea because I wouldn't use it. So, and I don't think you'd get it in a dabber. So the, it, the thing with Ranger is we make things to work together. Do you see what I mean? Everything works together and I can't, I don't know about other um, products, I don't know. There are lots more colours in the works, more colours of the rocks, more colours of the dust. I think in the future I'll bring them out in threes maybe. Bring out three and maybe a new shape and do you see what I mean? We shall do them like that. But this is what we are starting at. Oh, Nancy looked up subtle in her dictionary and there was a picture of me there. Oh my goodness, that's just amazing. Right, I am putting these over here and the next part is samples. So I'm going to show you samples and I'm going to start first with just the little samples I made here. So let's take that off just to show them off. So on here, this is bubblegum pink, okay? So what I've done on here is <coughs> I've taken... Um, a mixed media tag and then I've put half of a black tag on and I've just inked up a stamp with the diamond medium and stamped over the pad to show you and then with the faffy brush I've put the pearl on and then brushed it off now can you see how much stronger it is on the black and how how subtle it is on the mixed media so if you want it strong you'll use it on black but you can use it on paint you can use it on white you can use it on colors you can use it on top of the inks as long as the inks are dry as long as anything's dry you can use it but i just wanted to show you so you can do 
um, intricate stamping. OK, and then this is um, the ultra thick, the rocks. OK, so that's got the rocks on there. This one here. And I, again, I will demo for you is I've covered some of them in black and added the pearl. OK, so this one is bubblegum pink. Let's put that there. So you can see the colours. This is pink flamingo. Now this looks pinker, doesn't it? Can you see? This is pink flamingo. It looks more lilac on here and pinker on there. So some show more on the light as well. And then this is the pink flamingo and this is the pink flamingo dust. Okay. Next one, this is the important one, the post box red. Because if anybody knows with a mica, trying to get a red is a nightmare so as you can see it's more like a reddish copper so again you can see it nicely on both is it picking up the shimmer is it picking it up the camera so we've got the shimmers all over and i'll talk about those in a bit there is the rocks we have the rocks on there and then we've got the shimmers on black there next color laid back lilac Okay, now look at that one go. Laid back lilac. And then we have the rocks and we have the dust. Okay. Island parrot. So can you see it does show on clip, but you're going to get a stronger colour onto... Um, on black <coughs> or the darker colours okay so um island parrot there's the dust can you see the dust comes out exactly the same as the colour that it is and then uh the the rocks i mean sorry and then the dust on the black over here and then the last colour is the london blue now this is really strong both on black and on the mixed media OK, so we have London blue here. And then you can see the rocks come out exactly the same colour. And then this is just on black with the clear rocks over the top. And again, I'm going to demo that for you. OK, so that's the colours. That's what they look like. So I'm just going to pop those to one side for now. And then I shall whiz through some samples with you first of all i'm just going to show you some of the some of the um dust on its own okay so let me pop those in there so these samples whoops oh my faffy brush is faffing okay so these samples here okay this one let me just grab the stamp Again, these were the stamps that were released the other week. So this is this stamp, this stamp and this stamp, okay, inked with the medium, all right? So first of all, I inked the stamp with the medium, stamped the middle one, inked, stamped the top one, inked, stamped the bottom one. And then I got the London Blue, got my brush, added London blue just to this row, dusted it off. Then I stamped this row and added um, Island Parrot. Then I stamped this row, added Island Parrot. Then I did this row and this row with the London blue. Then I went in with the little flower and I stamped the little flower and then I went in with um, post box red. So you can do separate colours. Sometimes I'll just do a wash of colour. But here everyone is separate. Now is it actually showing? Is the pearl showing? I think so. So these are backgrounds. Now the dust has a binder in it. Okay. Just like the perfect pearls do. The dust has a binder. So what you do when you put it on and then you dust it off and then you spritz it with water and you leave it to dry and that will, it doesn't set it, you will never get a set. It's, when will this launch be on the Art From The Heart website? It's, it'll be on now, I would imagine. It'll be on now, Sue. Um, <clears throat> you'll never get a solid set, okay? If you rub and rub and rub, it will rub off. But 
how you going to, why you, you know, somebody will try and prove me wrong. Somebody will say, well, I rubbed and rubbed it and it came off. Well, that's great. I didn't. You know, you will get some excess um, shimmer come off on other pages because that's how it is. It's dust. It is going to go everywhere. So I spritz it and leave it. If you're in a hurry, you could whiz a heat gun over the top to dry it. Okay. But, you know, to me, dust is like my inks. It does what it wants, when it wants, if it wants. You can't control it as such. Yeah. Yeah, just don't lick it. But there will be somebody who says, well, I rubbed it and it came off. Well, that's great. I, I don't. Do you, do you see what I mean? So you just spritz it with water. I just leave it to dry because I'm getting onto, onto another page. But if you wanted to, which, you know, a heat gun over the top. Miss Wackley's in the house. Dinah is in. Great launch yesterday, Dina. Great launch. In fact, those little square ones will be perfect in dust. Perfect in diamond dust. I'm going to be doing it. So, so anyway, so that's how I did this one. So these are going to be backgrounds. I am a bit, I don't have as many um, samples as I wanted with being COVID. But, you know, it is what it is. So here is another one. Okay, here's another one. This is a bit more subtle because this is a solid stamp. So, for example, can you see there's a lot of black? When you see a lot of black on a stamp, it's a solid, which means you get a lot of area. This one is an outline stamp. So this is more delicate. You don't get a lot of area. Okay, but again, can you see the shimmer? So what I did on this one was... I stamped these three and this time I mixed up the colours. So on here, I've actually got Island Parrot and I've got Postbox Red. So with Postbox Red, I got, I used the Faffer, the Fusser, uh, oh my goodness me, the Fluffer. And I added some, I added some, I added some. And then I went back for the Island Parrot and then I added some, added some and then I fluffed it off. You don't stamp the whole page because it will dry. I stamped these three and fluffed and then I stamped these and fluffed and then I stamped these and fluffed okay you will not get perfect images but I, I never want per you might do you could play around I can't be bothered as you know but you can see look at the gorgeous shine and then you could put anything on the top of these you know you could add more paint you could use it as a background at the moment I just love them like this I'm just love looking at them I have done two others where I've got backgrounds on and I was hoping to have done more but unfortunately I didn't get a chance okay so that's in a black book what is that there oh baubles that's baubles so I'm just going to pop that to one side and then I shall show you some more so here this is in the classics so just look at the shimmer there. Can you see? Look at that metallic. This is not paint. This is the diamond dust. I mean, how gorgeous. You've got to admit it, haven't you? It's just <gasps> stunning. And just what I like, a bit of shimmer. I don't like totally in your face. It's, you know, shimmer. I'm just going to have a mouthful of tea. There we go. So that is this stamp set okay build a quilt and i cheated so you see these eight here that are in the lilac i kept them on here i just nicely spaced them on here got the pad inked them up inked all eight up at the same time boof, 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 boof. if you're gonna do that do you know the best thing to do is get the journal block place the journal block on the bottom here and press, 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 move it up, press, 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 okay? So I did this middle eight first, the whole thing. And then here I've mixed up the three different, um, two of the pinks, pink flamingo, bubblegum pink and the um, laid back lilac. So I did these eight in the middle, okay? Um Sorry, I've just knocked something off. Bernie's just said, well, the dust transfer to the other side. You will get minimal. You will get, you can feel it, but it doesn't, because you cannot control dust. Dust is dust. Do you know what I mean? But because it's spritzed, it's spritzed with water. 
and left to dry that it's activated the binders. So I did those eight first. And then what I did, I did the bottom. So I stamped these singly on the bottom. And I've added um, Island Parrot, London Blue, Postbox Red. And then I added them across the top, did the same. And then I went down the side. If you stamp too many at once, it's going to dry up. Okay. But isn't it gorgeous? And I don't think I will put anything on this page because I just absolutely love it. Some pages you don't cover. I've got one of those in brown. I don't know if it's in this book. I've got one on craft, which I'll never cover. No, it's not this book. Um, and I just absolutely adore it. OK, so that was using the Builder Quilt. Now, don't forget, I had stamps out before. I also had these heck of hexes which go really well but any stamp any stamp will work but i particularly i made these to do this type of thing do you see what i mean so let's go to the next one so the next one here i wish i'd done them separate now then i could have shown the shimmer but can you see the next one again with the pearls so that is the large um it's the two these two by the way, these two, the, the image is not true to size. When you turn them over, they're, not, they're much bigger. So I used um, the solid and I used this one as well. And again, I stamped the middle one, stamped the middle one and added London blue. Then I went, I think, what did I do then? Up and above. In a different, every time I do a different colour, I stamp it and then do a different colour. So I did there and there added the colour, then I did there and there, added the colour, there and there, added colour, and then I did the four corners, okay? I outlined it with one of my favourite pens, which is the Secura Black Glaze Pen. I swear by this pen. I absolutely swear by this pen. So if you can see, I outlined them. And then, you know me and doodling, I went a bit mad and thought, I'm going to doodle it all. So in this centre one, I doodled the brush strokes with the glaze pen, but in all the other ones, I just used a plain paint pen, a plain black paint pen. So the centre one has got the glaze, the middle one hasn't. And then I popped cutouts, the stamped cutouts on the top. Um, and then I just outlined them in the glaze. Pauline's just ordered a glaze, order a dozen, okay? And then I just went down with little circles across the bottom. But do you know what else would give you that? Glossy accents would give you a sim these dots and things. That's what I always used to use back in the day. Glossy accents will give you a similar um, thing, okay? And that page, I was gonna color these, but I'm not, I'm just gonna leave it now. So the last one in here, again, just pearls. I just wanted to show you how the dust works as backgrounds on its own. OK, so again, this is using the quilt of daisies and I started in the middle with the solid one. You don't need tons of classes. Once once I've done it, you'll, you're fine. Those if you're going to be at Ranger in two weeks, this will be doing this. OK. And if you're going to be at Stampers Anonymous sometime at the end of January, we're going to be doing this. OK, just a little. Anyway, so I did the centre one, added a couple of colours and then I stamped three around and added the laid back lilacs and the London blues. And then I did these and added the greens and then I did these. It's just about being methodical, really, which I love with. I love, as you know. I love being methodical and it's just giving you a different sort of, di you know, dimension, really. And um, and I'll get loads of samples for Stampers Anonymous. So if, go if you're going to a show, you can't find it on Art from the Heart. Ben, can you throw a link in on Art from the Heart? Ben will find a link in. Don't worry. Um, but anyway, so there you go. So again, you could leave it or you could add collage on here. You could add stamps on here or you could just leave it as it is. Whenever I'm demoing, I'm, uh, whenever I'm doing a launch, I want to show you exactly sort of how to use it. OK, Jodie, I can't believe it. you're travelling the world and I haven't seen you for five years. She says I'm on her bucket list. Me and you will just have to do something. Anyway, this is in a... Um, ledger ledger journal okay so what i wanted to show you here let me just pop 
a little piece of paper over there so I can show you. Now on this page here, this is paint. This is just a painted background. And can you see I've put, got the dust in the back? Now you could say to yourself, well, I can do that with Diane Shimmer paint or I can do it with Diane Shimmer. Yes, you can. But shimmer paint is solid. It's opaque. Okay, my powders are not. The dust is translucent. Can you see? So you get this sort of very subtle, like me, obviously, remember. Uh, Hannah says that in the Swedish dictionary, when you look up subtle, it says not Diane. So I'm not quite sure. I've got one of each at the moment. But anyway, so that's how I would sort of use it in a page. And then here I did it more solid. Now here I did it a little different. This is the flurry stencil and this is the Jolly Holly stencil. So I placed the stencil down, took the pad and pressed through the stencil with the pad. I didn't use the dabber because if you dab, it's, there's going to be too much medium on there and it's going to smudge. OK, so Nancy, you're there. Don't be daft. You're always. Oh, that was a quick sneak. Um, I painted the page black with black paint and then I went through the stencil with the pad. And then with the faffa, I added the colour and then with the fluffer, I fluffed it off. OK, and can you see the berries and the middle of the flurry do have stickles on them? OK, and then this is glossy accents. This is a little glossy accents on the actual. And these are collage. This was collage set number two. This was collage set number one for the Christmas. But just look at the, you know, and people I used to find when I used to do this years ago, um, people were really sort of scared of pearls in the, you know, in those days. And I think people will be scared of my dust these days. But it's not. It's so simple to do. So I was doing this, as I say, when Tim met me, when Alan met me, etc. And then they asked me to come and demo at Ranger with them. And I demoed their perfect pearls for years. That's what I used to do. I used to specialise demoing their perfect pearls. So, I mean, it's something that I've done for a very long time. OK, anyway, so those are the page samples that I've got to show you. And then look at this little box of goodness here. These are some of the rocks samples. OK, so remember, this is the shape. So it's one of the diamond boards. Dab, 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 covered in the diamond medium. And then, see if I've got one with not much. This one, I bent this one yesterday. Sorry about that. So it's got all the rocks on it. It's got a couple of layers and then I embed stamps in it. So that's just got one embedded. But then can you see these are some of the Christmas stamps? So it's embedded in. So you take the stamp embed it in I will show you in a minute and then the dust is inside so this is London blue rocks with um, pink flamingo dust and a tiny little bit of stickles this is a whole stamp that's a Christmas stamp can you see the texture now these I personally wouldn't put these in my journal because they're too thick I would put them, I use them for covers, I use them for cards, I use them on tags. I would put them in a journal when you're nearly finished, you know, when you've nearly sort of finished it, but not as you're doing it. So again, that's one of the large Christmas stamps. Can you see? Look at the texture. Can you see that? So you get the texture, you get the shine, you get the shimmer and you get the stickly bit as well I'm sorry I'm on the wrong side so look at all these and that's what I do I spend ages doing loads you can see look, loads and loads and loads and loads and loads and loads and loads so this one for example I've just stamped in the side so this is post box red you can see that gorgeous and they're still not too thick so this is post box red and then I um, just embedded one of them, the toadstool stamps in the side I think I'm going too quick sorry so where's my camera gone hang on I'm very confused over here should I be over here <laughs> and then it's got the stickles in look at that 
So, and you can see a lot of the stamps. A lot of the stamps are made to go on here. So that's using the colours, which I will demo for you. But then you can also use it with collage paper. So this is collage. If you, ha if you have set three or four of collage, there is a, a sheet in each of those. Oh my goodness me, that's two inch square. How perfect. You'd think it was always most planned, wouldn't you? So these are collage sheets. Can you see? I don't know if it's this particular one, but you can see the... So these are just clear. These are clear and then these have got stamps embedded in them. Honestly, so much fun. So much freaking fun. So those, and I'm going to demo each one of these. So that's collage papers. And then we have the stamps, the actual stamps. The actual stamps themselves, look. And you could use any stamp. These are made of the size, but you could use any stamp. I didn't colour these. You can colour them. You could paint the board first, then stamp on top. I just wanted like this tile effect. I wanted them to look like old tiles. Do you see what I mean? Because these are going to go on a journal cover. Okay. You can take, let me show you this. <laughs> Here is a blast from the past. And I don't think Ben, Jay and Emmy know this is coming. But this is a blast from the past. This is when I used to do it originally. OK, you can take photographs, photocopy them and use your rocks on the top. So there is Maisie, who is nearly 18. There's Tom, there's Jay, there's Ben, Emmy and there's me with my short hair. That's what I looked like when Tim and um, Alan met me. So this is done exactly the same. So it's a photocopy of a photograph. It's got the clear rocks on the top and um, I've embedded in. And look, stickles. Got some stickles on and some glossy accents. I'm just bringing the wheel back round. OK, so let me show you this little box. This is where I normally keep, keep all my diamond boards in here, in this little box. This is an old, um, not Molten Brown, I've forgotten the name. Um, so no candle box. So I stamped on the box. This box is textured. So when it's textured, you don't get a really clean image. But I stamped on the box with the medium, brushed the island parrot over, and then I just pieced them together. Can you see? I just went through my little collection. And then I just pulled them up. And as you can see, I used the part ones. I was telling you earlier, you can cut them. You can do them with a knife. But if you have Tim's scissors, look, they just cut like butter. So you can cut shapes. Can you see where I put the shapes there? I like to leave a gap. I like to leave a little gap between it. So on here, this is just using the pearls and this one, which I'll demo. These are using uh, the rocks with a bigger stamp. These are using the rocks with the, the stamps that fit. And this is clear. OK, and then the stickles. The little stickles on there. The stickles looks white on there because what did I put underneath? I put something underneath first. So the stickles looks white on there. OK, let me show you some of the card samples and then I'll show you the piece de resistance and then I'll demo for you. OK, so these are some of the card samples. OK, so do you remember the last release and I was showing you that I make big sheets? So the last stamp release, I was showing you I make big sheets and then I just cut them out. So again, this is from Quilts of Brushstrokes. So I just cut one of those out, popped these scalloped cards I was using up because I was ill with COVID. I couldn't go out and get any more. So I was just using them, these up. OK, that's the last of these. And then I just popped one of the diamond boards on. OK, so this stamped in this is actually... Um, I think this is from Kiss Me Under the Mistletoe, OK, with some pearls in. And I'll show you and I'll explain what happens, how to protect your stamp 
But so there's one little card. This is Emmy's favourite. Emmy loves this card. And I actually made it this way, but she loves it this way. So this is uh, the pearls on black. Okay. And then just some of the little boards, just with some of the um, dust on. I called it pearls. I don't mean that. But they, they, they work the same. It's because I was describing what I did before. So this is the dust. And this is the dust on the boards. And I just wrote happy birthday. Okay. This one is collage. So, you know, I was telling you earlier, you could use the collage paper. So this is just a simple collaged one. And then I've used some strips of the collage on there. A little bit of doodling. And I love using my bigger back chat on cards because they look quite nice from the front but then they've got a sting in the tail so this one says the wrapping is lovely but inside it says the box is empty which is another way of saying you're two sandwiches short of a picnic do you know what i mean so very simple there this is one of my favorite i love this um so this these were tags i actually decorated some tags and i don't know if you can tell but that is part of it. That was part of it there as well. So I just cut a square out, doodled round, added one of the collage sheet elements that's got stamped in. And again, everything is better when you decide you don't care. Okay. You can punch holes in these. So you could, you know, add them on key rings and different bits like that. But you need to do that before I'll show you. Anyway, there's another one. That's the top of the tag. Okay, so I used the top of the tag. I added some ribbon and you can see this is one of the um, quilting stamps. Just put, aren't they effective? They're so effective. Okay, and it's solid. Okay, here, these are some of the samples from last week. These are some of the tag samples. So I just cut them up. That one says, so many village idiots so few dragons i like the way it looks as though it's like a pineapple purse bur just bursting out the top there now this one is hilarious because i forgot which way up i was doing so again this is from this is like this is what i did the other week i made loads of tags and backgrounds like this oh what's that doing in there i made loads of tags and backgrounds like this and then i cut them up so you can see that's there and I've added one of the um, the rocks on the top and it says, let's talk soon. And then I forgot where I was going and I have to turn it sideways. And it says, because I missed the sound of my voice. Giddy up sparkle pants. There's chaos to spread. Aren't they lovely? They're just, and they're not, they're not hard, honestly. This is just a congratulations. So I just used uh, the top of a tag and then this is collage with a stamp embedded in. Again, these are from the pages. So these are the, the bits of block stamps. Used a small one with the, with the, that's the ferns on. And this says, you constantly amaze me. Unfortunately, not in a good way. Ranger were like, can you make some cards? I said, they'll have to be my kind of cards. Anyway, right. New home. So I stamped the houses. Okay. So I um, just used part of a card, stamped the houses in there and just wrote new home. And then the last one of these is, again, remember, look, um, I stamped a whole big sheet. Actually, I think Jay stamped that one. I'm not sure. But he did a whole big sheet and then I just cut them up. So all these ranges have been going into one, all these um, releases. And again, this has got one of these little tiles. I like the juxtaposition of all the colour in the back and then with the black and white. And this looks antique. -y. This looks bright. And it says, I'm sorry I upset you. Well, that's nice, isn't it? I'll try not to be right next time. <laughs> so those are the cards and the Emmy will get all the samples up and then I have one more thing to show you before I do some demoing and this is how I used to do things before 
okay so i don't if i put a piece in the journal then i can feel it i'm a bit like the princess and the pea i'm a doodler i'm a writer you know so i would have, you might be fine you might have a lot of mixed media stuff in your journals you might be fine but this is what i do with them journal covers okay journal covers can you see so this is an old um this is a christmas ledger so and and again because i was poorly i didn't do everything properly so i only colored the front i never got right around to doing the thing and so here is the boards now the good thing about these boards you might think it's accidental but any of the size of the journals four boards will fit across the top okay so the squares and the large journals four boards will fit square journal four boards will fit down okay large journal five and a half so if you have a large journal it's four across the top like so there's your four and then what you have to do coming down is you can do three then a half where's my halves i'll have to cut i don't know where they are i'll have to cut one in half let me do this so you would do a half, then you'd do one, then you would do another one. And then on your next one, maybe you'd do your half there and then you'd, and you'd just mix them in. Do you see what I mean? Or you can have a stripe going across. But that is the reason. Now, again, if you're doing the hexagons, you can do it exactly the same. Um, you would do it like this, actually. You would tessellate like this. I'll show you can you see and then you would put your halves in here so again you get five going up and then you get them going like this so if you leave a little gap between them and then you can add some um, glossy accents or you can add some of the doodling or whatever so you don't really have to, you know, break, make things. I wouldn't bother putting, I wouldn't bother cutting this up and putting a bit in there, but you could do. Are they going to fall off? If you drop it, yes. Are they going to last forever? No. Do my, this one keeps springing off. This one keeps moving position. Look, it's double-sided tape. I just stick it back on. Am I bothered? No. Are you bothered? Probably. But I'm not. Now, I haven't tried it with Dina's thick medium. I've just, you know, done like this. So it's up to you. But here you can see I've got a selection. I've got some uh, plain ones that are just pearls. I've got um, just dust, sorry. I've got the rocks stamped. I've got full stamped, little stamp, And there's a little bit of glitter on all of them. Can you see? <gasps> Ooh, it's gorgeous, gorgeous, gorgeous. So let's do some quick demos. And then I'm teaching tonight, would you believe? I'm teaching in... Oh, I'm teaching in 25 minutes. I told you it'd be a long one. You can always go off and have some tea and come back and re-watch the end of it. But it's important to demo. And I will be doing more videos, which I'll add on here and I'll add on YouTube to go over it. So do not panic. I won't be doing it just in classes. Um, I will be showing you. Some of you will remember it from years ago but some of you will be won't so i will be going over it okay so first of all what i'll do is the basic pearl dust shimmer okay so let's take a black tag Ooh. and i'm not just going to i'm not going to do full samples i'm just going to do bits of them okay so let's take one of these Now, when I'm doing a stamp, I take the pad, okay? It's clear, and again, remember, no fairy elephants, fairy footsteps, tap, 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 okay? And then what you're going to do is you're just going to stamp it down. OK, 
can you see can you see there we've got this slightly glossy because it's a slow drying ink remember now this is how I have my dusts I have my dusts like this in the lid of a box and I keep them open like this all the time and I just pray that I don't sneeze okay but this is how I have mine you could open and shut them all the time um but you know I have them like that and then there's two ways I'm going to use you could go in and do each individual flower in a different color so for example say I want the centers of the flowers I could take the faffa brush and faff by doing the centers can you see if you want to fuss or faff as we call it in Yorkshire you can go in like that and you can make things a certain colour, okay? So I could also make like these little dots. So this is what we call faffing. You're just being, um, you know, a bit fussy. You're just taking your time because there are people who, who just want to do that, unlike me and Dina who don't. We're fluffers. We take the big fluffer. So you can do that, okay? But the other thing you can do is you can sort of mix colours up. So, for example, if I take uh, bubblegum pink, I'm going to take my fluffer brush. And can you see, I'm just going to put some... And I'm going to pounce. So I'm going to take this fluffer brush and I'm just going to pounce in areas. Okay? Give it a brush. And then I'm going to go on to uh, bubblegum pink. Whoops. And I'm going to pounce in the remaining areas. So I get this variegated look. So there's two ways you can do this. Okay. So make sure it's all pounced down. Then I just give it a I just give it a knock. I just went like that because I didn't want it all over me. And because I've used the fluffer brush to apply it, I'm just going to give it a quick brush off. And then you just look. Oh, fluff, 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 fluff. Can you see? How hard was that? That was not hard. Not hard at all. So that was an open one. And let's do it with a solid one. Okay. So with the solid, we need a bit more going round. You don't want to press hard, but you just want to go all over it. Okay. And all my samples have been made with this pad. All my samples have just been totally made with this pad. So let's take this. Let's stamp on the top. Press firmly. Lift it off. And then you can... I, if you're not going to use it again, just pick a bit of kitchen or whatever will do. Now, you can see it's more solid here. So, again, we could go in with a faffa or we could go, just go straight in with the fluffer. So I'm going to add some bits of green. You could do all one colour if you want. I just like to mix them up. And then let's go in and let's get some blue. Obviously, it's more dramatic on the darker colours. But you can do it on the paint. You can do it on anything. Again, if you add it with the fluffer, you need to give it a bit of a, a brush. I blow it. In class, please don't blow it on the person next to you. Then take your fluffer brush and just fluff. Fluff it off. Now, if I rub, this will come off. So I'm just going to take some water and I'm just going to lightly spritz over the top with water and then I'm just going to leave it. And that will activate the binder in there um, and then you don't have to do anything else to it. Can you put a heat gun over it? Yes, you can if you want to. I don't. I just leave it and get on and do um something else okay if you rub and rub it will come off it will so don't rub and rub you're not going to get a permanent you know on there so i'm just going to throw this to one side because I, I tell you what i did forget to tell you that you can actually paint with it as well um sorry i'm just looking where's my little brushes did i have one out earlier my big one this will do this will do it. So if you, um, sorry, I'm conscious of time. 
if you dip this in water and then in, you can actually paint with it, can you see? And then you won't, um, you don't have to add water over the top because it's already activated the binders. Can you see? So that's the other way. You can actually, I mean, I do have, I use my, I use my shimmer spray inks, but you can do that as well. And then once that's dry, that will stay like that. Okay, so that's basic of using the dust. So now let's get onto the bit you all want. Let's get onto the rocks. Okay, so the first one that I'm going to do is I'm going to take one that I've already put on a board. Okay, um, I'll probably take this one because I want to show you with the clear rocks. So all I've done is glue um, glue stick all over, pressed it down firmly and then left it to dry. You can't stick it on and then do it because the heat will lift it. So I put it on firmly, I left it to dry. I just happened to have my black dabber around so I just went like that around the edges. Okay, so I'm going to do it with that one. So I'm going to take the dabber I'm going to get my clear rocks out because this is with the rocks, the clear. I'm going to take my dabber and I'm just going to dab it. Can you see? The clue's in the name. Make sure you can see it. Make sure you've got plenty all over. Can you see? So I'm going to dab it, lid on, put it down. I've just taken a piece of paper, folded it in half, and then you just throw the rocks over the top. Okay. Take a knife or something, hold it up, and then give it a light tap. Don't smack it because it'll all fall off. Light tap. Lift this up and put the excess rocks back in the jar. Okay. Heat gun. Let's put the heat gun in. Now, this to me is the best heat gun. A lot of people say, oh, we like those long ones. This is better because this heat gun, the heat comes down and out and it diffuses all over. If you've got one of those long ones, it's ones, it's more localised and I find that harder. So Ranger, heat it, craft tool. And then what you're going to do, I'm hoping you can see with the camera here, is I'm going to start it melting. The first coat takes a while. So you just move your heat gun. Can you see? I'm just slowly moving it. So the aim is to melt the rocks. Melt these rocks all over. And you, when you, you'll see it when you're doing it yourself. Now, in Ranger, in two weeks, we'll be making, we'll be covering either a little box or a sort of tag. At Stampers Anonymous, next year in January, we'll be doing a, we'll be doing a whole journal cover. Okay, I haven't released dates for that yet, but I don't know if you can tell it's starting to melt now. It goes clearer. Okay, so it's starting to melt. And what you want is you want it to be melted all over, but you want to keep it hot all over as well. So can you see, once I've got it melted, I'm going all over the surface with it. And then really quickly throw it on. Oh my gosh, did somebody just say I need a bright pink heat gun? Have I, do you think I've requested one? Ha, 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 they were like, nobody will buy it. I said, I want a bright pink heat gun. So we, we're in talks. We're in talks for a bright pink heat gun. So can you see, I had to throw the rock, before it cooled, I had to throw the next layer of rocks on. Now, I've seen people go back and put another layer of this on. You'll just get it really cloudy and you don't want that. Second coat, let's melt the second coat. The second coat will melt quicker. Okay, so let's get this second coat melted. Look at all these people who want a pink heat gun. Ranger, are you listening? Kathy, tell him, tell him, tell him. I suggested it ages ago, so and it was it was in consideration, so it's gotta be a dilutions one. A dilutions pink heat gun. So here we go. Can you see as it goes clear? It's very hard to show on screen. What I'll do is I'll get somebody like Emmy or something to show it from the side in future. Okay, so that you can see it better. Anyway, so you go over, you make sure it's melted. When it's melted, <laughs> when it's melted, you've got to be quick. Turn it off, throw the rocks on the top. Okay, throw them on. 
don't be faffing and just a little bit here and there throw them on look at this look at all these people I, t I love to be i love to be right barry you've got a black one you can use this one but the rest of us want a pink one now this is the third coat okay third coat so i'm just going to melt it okay oh elizabeth had buy two pink ones yes i just want you to know i have already asked no purple's not my color gail sorry you'll have to ask one of the other designers to come up with something they need a heat gun for and make it purple it's got to be pink for me <laughs> It just has to be. To me, it's a no-brainer. Look at them all. I hope Kathy's still on. <laughs> Kathy agrees with me. It's getting the male to agree. So anyway, so there is my third coat. It will be red hot, okay? But you can pick it up from the side. So can you see the gorgeous texture and the shine we get on there? Now, if you wanted to, st oh, I went out of camera there, sorry. If you wanted to stamp into that, I'm just going to move this out of the way. Normally you would do it when it's hot, but I can actually um, reheat. So I'm going to take this stamp and you've got to protect your stamp. These are red rubber. You have to protect them. So you stamp it, you ink it with the medium, the diamond medium, Okay. Then, this I should have done this this last step, but I wanted to show you. So I'm going to remelt this because yes, you can remelt it at any time. You can remelt it at any time. So when it's melted and hot, when it's melted and hot, you can embed your stamp in, so you can deboss it. I usually take it off the paper when I do this because obviously I don't, if any goes over the edge, I don't want it to go onto the paper. <laughs> Gail's like, oh, all right, then if I've got to have pink, I'll have pink. It could be a while, but yeah. So take that and then you stamp into the melted. Now, sometimes it lifts straight out, other times it doesn't. Don't force it. Just leave it to cool a little okay and when it's cooled a little it will just come on. oh it lifted it will just come off the stamp i don't know if you can see that and then while it's warm we go in with the faffa i'm going to go in with bright blue so you can see it more and i am just adding the london blue dust the diamond dust into where it's been embedded okay and then I'm going to add a little bit of the red around there you do it while it's warm okay give it a quick blow and take your fluffer and then fluff off the excess can you see that is that showing fluff off the excess and then if you want to, just add a little bit of stickles. Oh, hang on, where's my pin? It's got chunks in, but you can just add some of the stickles around like so and leave it to dry. Okay. So next one, I'm going to use the coloured rocks. And then I'm going to do pearls on black and then I'm going to stop, run to the loo, have a cup of tea and get ready. So this one, I'm going to use this shape. OK, so back to the dabber. Dab, 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 all over. Every now and again, you have to squeeze the bottle to get it going up. I will be doing them in classes, don't worry. And as I say, if you're in the Ranger class... I think we've got two spaces. It's a busy class, but I think we've got two spaces left at Ranger. And then there will be a Stampers Anonymous. We'll do a whole journal cover. OK, so what colour shall we go? Pink. Let's go pink. Yeah, I'll throw the lot on. OK, lift it up. 
lightly tap. You can always use the lid. You can always pop it on the lid if you want. And then you just lift this up, pour this back in. No waste. No waste at all. Get your heat gun. First coat takes a while. Takes a while. Yeah, I'm just waiting for dates and then I can announce, I want to announce that actually. I'd like to announce it this week, but uh, we'll just wait for dates and do. But actually, if Ted's still on, I want to talk to you tomorrow and I also want to talk about boards, you know, Tim's boards, because I think a collection of these on though on one I don't know if it's tags or something I think they would look amazing so that's what we'll be doing at Ranger so can you see I don't know if you can see it it's very mottled your first coat is never very good but it's hot pick up the rocks chuck it all over just be quick don't be doing this oh a little bit of this look just throw the lot on okay lift it up lightly tap that's all you need to do lightly tap pick it up put it back so that was the second coat i always do three coats with an exception the post box red quite often needs four coats okay because of the way the pigments work so three coats on everything but post box red quite often needs a fourth So melting the second coat now and again you'll see there's a little bit of a hole in it it will all blend together so I'm going to do this and I'm going to do one more with the pearls and then I am going to let you go so excited about this so make sure it's hot all over last coat third coat Okay, tap it, put this away. Now this time, I always take it off and I put the lid on this because I don't want it. Make sure lids are on everything because you don't want things drying up. So now, before I come to this, I'm going to decide what am I going to stamp in it. Am I going to stamp, I think I'll stamp one of these. I'll stamp this one. Okay, so I'm going to take that stamp. I am going to uh, put it on here and I've got to protect it. And so I protect it with the medium because it's going into red hot. Red hot bubblegum pink. So I hold this in one hand and I've got my trusty gun in the other. So I'm like this, but I don't hold it down here because it'll dry. So now I'm going to melt the third coat. Of the diamond rocks. You don't want to go like this because it'll be hot, cold, hot, cold. Can you see I'm just moving it slightly, but I want to keep the whole thing hot. I don't want one part to go you know, really cold. So when I've done it, I go all over like so. Make sure it's all hot. Take the stamp, position it, press. Okay. That lifted straight out, but quite often it'll stay on there. Can you see? Oh, it's embossed in it. Again, I'm going to use the blue just because it's a bit in your face so you can see what I'm doing. But I'm going to take the blue and I'm just going to go in these bits here. Do it while it's warm and you won't need to seal it with anything. It will stick to the perfect medium. So let's add some of the blue in there. Can you see having them in a little tray like this is just... Um, I just I find it handy dandy but you have to be careful that you don't have any fans going or you get sneezy or anything like this so and then I'm going to put green see with you can with the faffa brush you can faff 
and you can place it exactly where you want to place it okay then you give it a blow take your fluffer fluff 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 you see and then if you want to stick a little we can add some stickles just in the dots you can go to town you can add as much as you want you know and then you just leave these to dry and i mean how easy is that way up how easy was that all right no you don't have to spritz it because the heat it just stays in there Okay, last one. What I'm going to do is I'm going to use the pearls this time. The diamond dust. So I'm going to take the dabber. I just need to, because I've been doing it a bit, I'm just going to squeeze it. There we go. I'm going to squeeze it, get more out. You can see it. Could you use this? Yes, but it would take you forever. Do you know the other thing that's gorgeous to add? If you've got any of... Tim's thinner. Oh, I've just forgot there was I forgot there was stickles on that. You know, Tim Tim's thinner um, embellishments. I've embedded like um, fountain pen nibs before, and you know, like his little spiders. You do it when it's um, hot. You just put them in while it's hot, and it'll just stay in there. Okay. So this time, what I'm going to do is. I'm just going to use the diamond dust. Last one, I promise you. Because I've got I've got to teach in three minutes. <laughs> right, so I've covered it in the diamond dust. So what? Oh, wrong one. <laughs> wrong one, it's supposed to be the black one. I'll do both to show you the difference. Here we go. I'll do both and show you the difference. Look, I got carried away. So these I've just painted black. Just with my black marble paint. Okay, I just put some paint on the blending tool and I just um, added it. Okay, I just did that. Right, what I'm going to do now, I'm going to do the same colours on each. So this time I'm going to use my fluffy brush again. I'm going to start light and work up. So I'm going to go with bubblegum pink and I'm going to pounce bubblegum pink in that corner. So I'm going to pounce bubblegum pink there. Okay. And then I'm going to go um, Pink Flamingo. I'm going to pounce some there. I'm going to pounce some there. Then I'm going to go um, Post Box Red. Pounce some there. Post Box Red. Pounce some there. Island Parrot. It's getting a bit mucky colour because I've got... There we go. You see, can you see how you see it much more on the black? And then we'll finish off with some London blue. Okay? And then clean this just with your hands. Just fluffer, fluffer, fluffer. Give it a blow and then pounce it down. You want it to stick in. Now, can you see the difference with having it on black than white? Okay? So. Now, if I just put the dabber on, it's going to come off on this, so I need to spritz this. So I'm going to take the spritzer and spritz it with water, and I'm going to spritz it with water. And because I'm in, because I'm, you know, here and waiting for this, normally I would leave that to dry. I'm going to run the heat gun over them just to dry the water. But that will, normally I would make loads of them. I'd make, you know, six or eight. And, um,. Put them to one side. Okay, so. I think I drowned it. I don't think I spritzed it. I think I drowned it. Sorry about that. It's because I'm in a. Because I'm in a bit of a. Nearly done. I don't often demo in a. Um, launch, but I just felt these needed. And I hope the designers can understand why I didn't really send it to them. I sent them an email saying, I'm really sorry, I don't think that I've dropped you, but I'm just not sending the stuff. Because I just, I don't have time to explain it to you. Okay, so then, take your dabber. Okay, here we go. 
I'm just going to do one at a time. Okay, now this time, because I'm using clear, I'm going to use the other side of the paper. Okay, so here's the clear rocks. Okay, up, tap, put to one side. And I will do individual, I will do lots. I don't know when, there's me saying I'll do them, I just don't know when. Having COVID just completely set me back. But here we go. So clear rocks onto the pearl. And this looks like, you know those jewels like agates where you get layers? That's what this will end up looking like. It looks as though the uh, dust is trapped in between the rocks. It looks amazing. And you can see it, you can't see it, but I can see it changing. I can see the crystals just... And like I say, this is not a new product, but I've never seen anybody use the product like me. Okay, so second layer. This is how I always did it and just absolutely loved it. Now, I saw somebody earlier ask, can you do both sides of the board? No, because as soon as you start to melt this side, this will melt. Okay, so you can only do one, but you could make two and stick them together. Yeah. So you can make two ornaments. I once made a ton uh, with photos for the Christmas tree. You make the hole first before you add anything else on. And then after your last layer, you've got to put something through. I just use the brush back through the hole to keep it clear. Now this is two layers, but I'm going to stop and lift it up to show you and hope it shows i don't I, I just don't know if you can see the beauty of it it's like the dust is suspended it's like the dust is suspended in the clear rocks the other thing you can do if you want more color say for example you think well i haven't got as enough as much color there while it's still warm you can add a little bit more so I'll add a little bit more there and it'll 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 dry in layers then and then let's add a bit more of this here just while it's warm because it will stick to it and then I need to melt it down again okay so melt it down again so I might be doing that I might be doing the rest of the videos when I'm at Ranger next week because time is running by. I've got another little grand, grandchild at the hospital again today. Martha's birthday is on Sunday. It's just all go. So melted it down again. And then just add this over the top again. And then this is the last layer. And that will trap those powders in there. So now I'm not going to stamp on this, but if I was going to stamp on it, I'd get my stamp ready. If you were going to embed something in one of Tim's little embellishments or something like that, um, you would get that ready now to pop in. But this is going to be the last one. I just I'll get Emmy to stand with a camera nearer when I'm when I'm doing the demo one so she can see will the rocks work on Tim's electro boards I don't know because I've not used them they might be too porous I don't know but what I'm going to do is I'm going to put these on his etc boards do you see what I mean that's what I'm going to do I'm actually going to put them on I don't know all I always say to people is try it try it and if it does it does I mean, I just don't think the camera can do it justice. But can you see those different layers on there? And then I could embed in back into it again if I wanted. I don't know if you can see where they're trapped in the layers there. So if you're going to be at Ranger in two weeks, we will be making a selection. Um, oh, I forgot to do that one. 
we'll be making it i'll just do a bit of this one just so you can see the difference we will be making a selection of um boards that we're probably going to put i need to talk to ted tomorrow we're probably going to put on an etc tag okay if you are going to be at stampers anonymous next year we're actually going to do a journal cover just a square journal cover but we are actually going to do a journal cover i'm just going to finish this one and then i've got to get to class <laughs> If you're a dandelion, there will be no live launch, but I have filmed, I've filmed the first two parts, I've filmed the products and I've filmed the samples, but because of the hospital, etc. today, I haven't filmed the demo. I will film you the demo tomorrow and put that in the dandelion group. So do not panic if you don't find me over there. So I just want to show you the distance at the distance, the difference. It looks nice on clear, but on black it really makes it, it makes it pop. So. I would suggest, you don't need every colour. I would suggest three is always a good colour and get sort of opposites so that you can use, you know, if you get a pink, get a blue, then you can put the dust backwards and forwards between each of them. I can't wait to see what the designers are going to come up with. I'll come up with some amazing stuff. So it's just a totally different look when you do this. It looks as though, do you know what it looks like? As though you've got resin, as though there's resin on there, you know. So that, yes, this is, this is just the plain. This is just the plain. This is this one. Okay. You could paint it, you could paint it pink. You could paint it whatever you wanted. You could add the collage paper. Whatever you want to do. So this is the last coat on this and then I'll show you. If I had time, I would probably embed some more powders in here. The red hot, so just be careful. See, it's still really pretty and I would probably embed more in but then this is it on the black as well okay Oof. so it is not a new product by any means it's just something I passionately wanted to bring back and mine is made in a different way to most mine is tumbled so you get I can't describe it, but you just get this lovely look with it. You don't get that solid shine, okay? You don't get that solid shine. You get just this gorgeous, gorgeous look to it. So we have a clear three ounce, three ounce jar, bigger with the clear. We have six colours in the rocks, two ounce of the rocks, and they all have a matching dust, which is equivalent to a perfect pearl. These are just shades that match up with mine. You know, you get the colours in it. That's the thing, really. Can you use Perfect Pearls with this product? Yes, of course you can. But why would you when you've got diamond dust? Do you know what I mean? You can. So we have six of colours, six of the dust. We have a stamp pad. We have a dabber. We have a faffer and a fluffer. By the way, these get a bit battered at the end. And I just take a piece of... Um, kitchen roll and do this and just get the ends out if you put your faffer in this too soon it might stick to it and you just have to pick it out so we have the faffer and the fluffer and then we have the boards where's the where's the boards gone oh here we go so we have the hexagon we have the um rectangles and we have the squares and then the very last one which you never ever ever thought you would see we have a dandelion stickles 
a dandelion's a dilution stick oh sorry it's because i just saw dandelions come up on the thing so we haven't put this under the diamond range this is just a stickles that dilutions love so it's got dilutions on um and that's everything so i hope you enjoyed that i can't oh, i've stuck my hand in the stickles again i can't wait to do this one i should have done this one so this is from the collage papers i mean how cool is that going to look so there you go I have to dash. I'm so sorry. I hope you love it. I hope you enjoy it. Ben has got it online. He's doing bundles. Ranger has got it online. I think Emmy put the um, link up. They've got it in bundles. Ted has got it online. Um, I think they've got some bundles. You can buy everything separately. If you are a store here, put your, your details on. Can you say, if you've ordered it, or you're looking to order it, just so people know. doesn't matter. Just say, I've ordered it. It'll be here this week. Or, you know, I am ordering it now. Blah, blah, blah. Just so people have an idea. People don't mind waiting if they know they have to wait. So I know I've seen a few stores. I've seen Scrapbook Central. I've seen Stamp um, Elizabeth. Every time I forget. Um, I've seen a few stores on. Put your link on. But if you can't find it at a store near, um, Ben has it. Ben, there we go. Out from the hatch has popped the link up there. Um, Emmy, I think, will have linked Ranger. Somebody from Stampers Anonymous will have linked to them. And then the stores, if you, um, stores pop your links up. If you have a store near you, support your store. And thank you so much. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Oh, I'm gonna have to go for a I'm gonna have to run to the loo. Okay. Mwah. See you all. I can never find the finish on this. Where has the finish gone? Is it that? No, it's not that. I'm gonna have to spin you to see me. There it is. Finish. Bye!